How to practice nudism in your room with no one knowing. Have you been intrigued by the nudism movement? Nudism, also known as naturism, is all about enjoying the beauty and freedom that you feel when you shed your clothes and return to nature. If you're not ready to practice nudism in public, you may want to try it in the privacy of your room before venturing outside. With care and privacy, you can turn your bedroom into a one-person nudist colony. Part 1. Practicing Nudism in Your Room 1. Get Complete Privacy Shut and lock all the doors and windows in the room that you'll be staying in. Especially at night, pull the shades or blinds. Put a towel or blanket along the bottom of your door if there is a gap between it and the floor. You want complete privacy with no interference. It's common courtesy for people in nudist clubs to bring their own towels to sit on, so you can start this practice in your own room. Make sure that you have plenty of things to do, and that you can keep to yourself for the period of time that you have in mind. 2. Remove all of your clothing. Put your clothes in a pile in the same order that you'd put them on so you can get dressed if someone comes knocking on your door. If you're really worried about getting caught nude, then you should do this. However, you can also keep a towel around, quickly wrap yourself in it, and claim that you were about to take a shower if someone comes in. 3. Do what you would normally do. Now that you've removed any obstacles in your way, as well as your clothes, you can just go about your daily life. So, don't do anything particularly special just because you're in the buff. Real nudists just do what they normally do, only nude, even if they are able to enjoy life a little more and feel more liberated as a result. Here are some things you can do in your room. Have fun. Read a book, play a computer game, watch TV, draw, paint, play solitaire do word searches, play guitar, it doesn't matter what you do as long as you are nude while doing it. Get down to business. Refine your resume, do computer research, do your taxes, clean your room, organize photos, and so on. Things that might otherwise not be much fun to do, i.e. cleaning, are often much enjoyable to do while nude. Get healthy. Moderate exercise, stretching, or yoga is very beneficial while nude, especially in front of a full-length mirror, as one can see which muscles and ligaments come into play. 4. Sleep Naked Many people sleep naked just because they think it feels good, even if they don't consider themselves nudists. If you're serious about practicing nudism alone in your room, then a great way to do it is to go to bed naked. If you're caught, people won't think it's too strange, because plenty of people do it. Keep a bathrobe handy if you have to get up to use the bathroom in the middle of the night. If you're serious about nudism, you can just wake up in the morning and continue to be nude for as long as it's possible. 5. Gain a better understanding of nudism Another great thing to do while you're all alone in your room is to research nudism online. You should have a firm understanding of what you're really doing if you want to truly practice nudism. There are many misconceptions about nudism that you need to be aware of before you can say you truly understand it. Here are some things you may learn. Many nudists actually prefer to be called naturists. Nudism isn't meant to be sexual. Being naked is meant to be perfectly natural instead of causing arousal. Nudism is about gaining back the freedom little kids feel about being nude. You have to stop thinking about the restrictions that society has placed on you and return you your inner child. Nudism is playful. Nudism is also called naturism because it's all about returning to your natural state. While it's illegal to be nude in a public place, the practice of nudism as a whole is not illegal, unless you're living in Arkansas. Saudi Arabia, Iran, or a few other locations. Nudism is not sexually deviant. Nudists have perfectly healthy sex lives, they just don't make their daily lifestyle any more sexual just because they aren't wearing clothes. 
nor does this mean that they are asexual. Being part of a nudist group does not mean that you have to be overly sexual just because you're in the buff. You don't have to have a perfect body to be a nudist. You just have to be comfortable with what you've got. You don't have to be naked all the time to be a nudist, either. Many nudists hold regular jobs and wear regular clothes when they have to, though they are always looking for opportunities to be nude and express themselves. 6. Get dressed again. Unfortunately, you can't be naked in your room forever. Whether you're meeting friends at the movies or having a family dinner, it's time to put those clothes back on and to go out into the world. If you really are starting to feel restricted doing this and can't bear to be walking around with your clothes on all day, then you can start thinking about taking your nudism to the next level. Part 2 Taking Your Nudism to the Next Level 1. Take it one room at a time once you're fully comfortable practicing nudism in the comfort of your own room, you can take it to the next level. If you just want to do it in your room, then chances are it's because you live with roommates or family members who may not be super understanding of your lifestyle. If that's the case, then either you talk to them about it or see how they react, the harder option, or just start exploring other rooms in the house when you know nobody is home. Start by just going in the buff from your room to the bathroom before and after a shower. Then, try going to another room naked, even if only for a few minutes. When you know no one will be home for a few hours, you can shut the blinds and have fun hanging out all over the house in the buff. Just make sure to have a backup plan in case people come home earlier than you expected, if you really care about explaining why you're watching TV in the buff. You can always keep a towel around to cover yourself up and say you were just getting into the shower. However, if you really believe in nudism, then you don't want to be sneaking around forever, do you? 2. Branch out Once you've mastered being nude at home, you can take it a step further. If you live in a relatively secluded area, or near one, then see how good it feels to get nude in your backyard in the woods behind your house, or even on a deserted beach nearby. Just be prepared for the reactions of people who may see you and could get the wrong impression, and try to do it in a place that is as isolated as possible. For example, you can go on a little hike into a deserted wooded area or swim out to a secluded part of a lake, and then go commando. See how it feels to be so close to the elements. Is this something you'd like to do more long term? and without feeling like you're sneaking around? 3. Talk to your close ones about it If you've liked the freedom and liberation you've felt from going in the nude, then you may want to have a conversation with your loved ones about it. Talk to your best friend, your boyfriend, or even your parents, if you feel that this desire has become an essential part of you that people should know about. Be prepared for people not to understand what nudism is all about and to be a little bit skeptical or judgmental, at first. But don't worry, they'll come around. And if they don't, you'll find a way to manage. 4. Meet like-minded people If you feel good about being a nudist, then you can take your interest to the next level by jointing AANR, American Association for Nude Recreation or a similar league for people who are interested in maintaining their rights to be nude and to know where they can go to safely practice nudism. This organization, as well as others, can help you find clubs where you can practice your nudism, whether you're meeting at a private residence or a health club. You can also look out for nudist beaches or resorts, whether you're in the USA, France, or other nudist, friendly locations. Don't be afraid. If you find the right home, you won't be entering into an overly, sexualized, predatory environment. Make sure you look into the ideals of the group you want to join before you take the plunge. Nude recreation is supposed to be about acceptance of the self and respecting your individuality as well as the freedom of others, and feeling liberated, not uncomfortable. 5. Consider taking an vacation. 
If you're not quite comfortable with the idea of going in the buff in the place where you currently live, consider branching out by finding resorts that are nude only. You can use a regular vacation search website and hone your search to nudist spa vacations to find a resort that is perfect for you, whether you're looking in Mexico or the California hills. This can be a great way to immerse yourself in the life of nudism without feeling like you'll run into your mom or your fourth grade teacher. 6. If you're not comfortable, keep it private. Public nudism isn't for everyone. If you just want to stick to being nude in your room or your house, then there's nothing wrong with keeping it that way. You don't have to be nude outside, in public, or around a bunch of other nudists. It's all about expressing your mind and body in the way that makes you happy. So enjoy being nude, wherever you're doing it. Tips Keep sounds music to a minimum volume, including avoiding the use of earbuds earphones, so you can hear if someone comes home or knocks on your door while you are nude. Remember to enjoy this time for yourself, and have fun. This is your time to show how unique you are as a person. It is proper nudist etiquette, while at a nudist resort or other event, to bring your own towel to sit on. Even if you're not ready to go to such an event yet, it's good practice to bring a towel into your room to sit on during your nude time so you can get used to the idea. If you plan to be in your room nude for an hour or more, you may want to bring something to eat and drink with you. Have a bathrobe and slippers handy. If you must leave the room to answer the doorbell, use the bathroom, answer the telephone, get a snack, and so on. It will be much easier than having to put your clothes back on and then having to take them off again. However, be ready with a quick answer if someone sees you outside your room and wants to know, what are you doing in a bathrobe at this hour? Oh, I'm going to take a quick shower is a reasonable answer. Of course, then you'll have to follow through and take one. If your privacy gets invaded a lot, do this when you are alone. Warnings it is wise to practice nudism when your parents or significant other is not at home. This might be different if you can secure the room and keep it to yourself without anyone getting suspicious and inquiring or questioning your behavior. One way this can be done is by taking a long shower or bath. If you are a woman and menstruating, take precautions. Know that in the UK, being nude outside your home is illegal.